In this video, we will provide the formal definition of differential privacy. The basic idea of differential privacy is that it should be extremely hard for anyone to derive anything specific about any one particular person whose data are in a differentially private database. And the trick to guarantee this is to make sure that any public information release computed from the data set would be essentially the same whether this particular person belongs to the data set or not. And in fact, this must hold for any person in the data set. Now, a bit more formally, a data release is differentially private if for any database and any user, the data release from the database is nearly the same as the data release from a hypothetical database from which all the data that corresponds to the user gets deleted. All the difficulty now lies in the word nearly. How can we define nearly rigorously in a relevant manner, especially to guarantee the robustness from the post-processing we discussed in a previous episode? The trick is to use probability theory. Namely, we'll say that the data release will be nearly the same if with high probability, their probability distribution will be nearly the same. Slightly more formally, we say that the database release mechanism is epsilon delta differentially private if the probability that the released data is equal to R given the database is between e to the minus epsilon, so something like close to one, times the probability that the release data is equal to R given that the user has been removed from the database minus some small quantity delta and e to the epsilon times the same probability that is the probability that the release data is equal to R given that the user is removed from the database plus a small quantity delta. So this seemingly complicated double inequality is actually saying that the probability distribution of the released data given that the user is removed from the database is nearly the same as the probability distribution of the released data given that the user is in the database. And when you take epsilon to be zero and delta to be zero, you see that this inequality boils down to saying that the released data is independent from the user being in the database or not. Now, this is not the actual precise definition, and this is because of the case where the release data is some real number, in which case the probabilities here are all zeros and it's just meaningless. So to address this, we have a slightly more technical definition, which corresponds to considering the probabilities that the release data belong to some set S for all sets S. Also quite often, the equation of differential privacy is rather written as follows. Namely, instead of using conditional probability notations, we usually write the release data as a function of the database. And we obtain thus the inequality, the probability of the released data of the database belongs to the probability that this belongs to some set S has to be between e to the minus epsilon, the probability that the release data of a database minus the user belongs to some set S minus delta, and on the other side, e to the epsilon times the probability that the release data of the database minus the user is in S plus delta. In fact, still another way of writing this equation is to determine a distance function between databases. Namely, we will say that the norm one of x minus y measures the number of user differences between databases x and y. So typically, if we remove one user from database x to obtain database y, then the distance between x and y will be equal to one. If we remove one and add another one, the distance will be two. FYI, this notation corresponds to the so-called L1 norm, which matches a specific database model in which what is registered is the histogram of frequencies of users of different types, or it could be just one line per user. Anyways, differential privacy boils down to writing x minus y being of norm 1 smaller than 1, implies the fact that the probability that m of x is in S has to be smaller than e to the epsilon times the probability that m of y in S plus delta, where m is the data release mechanism, and this equation for differential privacy to hold must hold for all values of 
x, y, and s.